What's going on, everybody? Doc, Average Gamer Guys, back yet again for Escape from Tarkov Hardcore Action. We're going to jump into another one. This is what we're running. An AK with some eagle neck. Got some armor. Got some ears. Got a vest. We're going interchange. I need three. Three of these beautiful packs of screws to get this level up. This thing would be huge. So that's what we're going for. We are going to do it getting interchange we're getting it done today let's take a look at what else we need we need a whole bunch of other things we'll be on the lookout for tool sets tool items to be able to trade we need a corrugated hose and if we can snag up a motor we're going to do the same so apparently i'm hurt from that last woods raid and my fractures did not heal we're going to get healed up we're going to jump in without further ado let's get some raids Really, really hoping we can get this done here. Really interesting spawn. I don't know if somebody could be on my left here. This is Sturman's AK. Let's get right in here. Sturman's AK from that last raid. I said, screw it. Run the Eagle Neck. We are going very early morning for this raid. We also did and were able to trade for our docks case, which is really, really big. I didn't say that in the intro. We also got heating leveled up. Packs of screws. Hang those. We can run in here and just check for anything. There's our motor we need. It's fantastic. A lot of progress that last uh, last raid of last episode, and that was really really nice. Not on. We do need to be careful back here. I just need some packs of screws. I do need the corrugated hose. Items for toolkits as well. So early morning, I don't know how much action we'll get here. This map is always popular though, so. Expect some. The nice part about that spawn, which was very interesting to me, um, we're able to get right in. the update so this is a uh, recording i am recording this uh after patch 12.11 five 
optimized up. Really been enjoying it. I think the optimization's not without its couple of bugs, which I'm just gonna say is what it is. Not gonna make a big deal out of them. Not gonna just let BSG pass on them, but they fixed them. They had a lot of hot fixes. Came out very quick afterwards, so. That, ladies and gentlemen, is all I feel like you can really ask for. But, the patch in and of itself, my opinion, very good. Oh, and these aren't automatically open anymore. I just noticed that. Oh my, huge quality of life. Best patch ever. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Alright, come on. I need packs of screws. Jackets are actually really good for packs of screws. Three, come on. Let's get them, let's get the update done, and then we can do other things. Update, I said update, I meant upgrade. Talk about. Take that. Definitely still are gonna need a lot of corrugated hose. I don't think I need the bat yet. That. Also, just finished watching Twitch Rivals. I need another poker. That right. Like tubing, I'll kind of tubing at the moment. Trying to stick to my shopping list here. Come on, packs of screws. Box just sells really good. Come on. Holy metal cutting scissors. Some scav in front there. Holy metal cutting scissors. I have like what? Four, three or four on me? And it literally saw like 17 more. I'm actually going to take these. This I don't really want to do, but... Quick sweep for a car battery. What we got? Brutes. Broken shelf was one. Huh. All right. Get too mad at that, I guess. almost like to leave the scab there for some early warning, but probably not going to be that lucky. I'm going to 
have to kill this scav. Get beat the noise. Portion of car repair done. Which is got here. Wear a cool hat. Why not? Don't have to kill the scab. Where the hell did that scab go? Whatever. No complaints from me. Oh, now we're in Dilemma Town. I don't think I need those. I do want the cat tape though. I don't think I need the small WD-40 either, but hang on to them. I know I needed four for this upgrade. Again, if you're running solo a lot, and uh, maybe you're not doing a hardcore account, maybe you are, this is probably the upgrade that you need to try to get. Hugely beneficial. As you can imagine. The extra space, plus... The items that takes it's it's almost t a twofold win, and I'll explain that by saying you win one because you get the additional space. That's that's I don't want to say a no-brainer, but really want to take that. Um, you also win because the items that require are required for the upgrade, there's a lot. So you get the benefit of being able to not only get more space, but the things that are taking space up in, the, in your inventory are gone. And that's huge. You don't need nails and a whole lot of the other things. You need some of it for some other upgrades, but you don't need a ton of it for a lot of other upgrades. This is the part that's going to make me nervous. I do not like searching the back of Ollie. It's a, it's a death trap. I really, really need this. Axe of screw. Really hope. Find them. It's hard to tell. Most people aren't going to take those motors. Need lots of water filters. right there okay. holy water filters guys it's like 200k in water filter alone maybe not quite that much but that those are significant. Gosh dang. It's crazy because sometimes. Oh, that's at odd. That scared me. Legit. Legit scared me. May just
Oh, there's a fuel. Oh, that would be big. A little bit of a stutter right there. Bye. Got one propane. I'm grabbing that fuel 100%. Grab this too. That sounds. That seems really dumb. But freaking water filter, man. Here's why I want the fuel. We can start making mag boxes. We can take mag boxes, turn them to scat gunk box. All right, not sticking around here anymore. I think we have a better chance of finding packs of screws up closer to the front. But I think we secure this stuff instead. We don't really need much. We're going to continue to need money, so it's good to continue to find opportunities to make the money. Fuel. Securing the fuel is going to be really big. We get another propane for another armor. Then I don't think I have a. I don't think I have a ton of space after that. So. Probably just winning. Take the win. like where the hell is the scav holy shit crazy scav crazy dog On somebody's already taken power station. Somebody hit. Ah! Ow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Big win. That's good. Nice little bit of experience, a couple scav kills. A whole lot we need to see here. Good to go. Nice raid. All right, so here's the loot haul. Um, we do pick up certainly a couple of things that we need. So, uh, corrugated hose is great. Propane is awesome. Fuel, like I said, is awesome. We also do need the motor. So we're going to figure out basically where to try to get the rest of this stuff. I also need to see how many toolkits I can put together. 
uh, because it's certainly going to need a few of those and see if we can get any space savings with that. So we'll get unpacked. I'm running it back, running it back. I got to try to find these packs of screws. I am dedicated, dedicated. So that we'll get unpacked and we'll see you in the next raid. All right. Give an interchange a try again. It's going to hook us up with some packs of screws. We're able to get a lot sorted there. I was also able to get gunsmith, uh, the first gunsmith pass complete. I had a couple of elite pliers. As well as a screwdriver. And I was able to knock that out. Now, the interesting thing is that actually creates a need for a couple of more toolkits and I have quite a bit of the components but I don't have any wrenches wrenches and packs of screws are on the docket today and how I would normally go up here however I need to go into Ollie I don't think I cannot I don't think I can trust the toolkits to give me what I need. As unfortunate as that is. I don't know that I... I can honestly say of all the things that I've ever picked up in Ali and how much looting I've done. Legitimately, I don't think I ever say I've seen a... Pressure gauge should spawn on the ground. Very interesting. I am seeing more and more uh, batteries in toolkits too, which is really it's somewhat. A lot of good stuff. Unfortunate is not the item. Alright, so I am taking this. There's an it scared me. I got this thing. It's a second uh, pressure gate. They're really interesting. Completely strike out on packs of screws. It's right here is like my opinion. My opinion is the most dangerous. Okay. 
gonna have to rely on the toolkits because Basin or I actually do need to kill scavs. I'm gonna double dip on some challenge too. I think. Find this guy. Inside the containers over there somewhere. That would be my guess. All right, game, come on, hook us up. I need three. I need three. This tubing sells really, really well, which is the funny part. Like 10k a pop, so. Certainly not bad at getting it. Let's wish three of them were screwed. Shotgun shell. That never hurts. As well as the juice. Right, get rid of that. He's here, that there. I ran uh, a 60 or a 30 rounder here of Eagle Neck start. Best feet. I'm so happy they fixed these uh, duffel bags. It's awesome. I'm going to refrain from looking for... batteries. 
this like weird thing is happening where when one of something spawns like 17 oh my god gate well that I am noticing that though. I don't. Oh, well, odd. How about like a single pack of screws to start? That would. I haven't seen a wrench either. Interesting. We have to swap the map up. For valuable. No, but I probably sell it. Pretty much everything on me minus the fuel I end up selling. You need this. Oh, holy fire steel. I don't know if I actually need one of these or not. That's a nice find there. That should give us a toolkit, if not two. Sold very well. Curse bar. So the curse bar are going to come in handy, but for some much later on quests, the fact that we can trade them for... Scav vest is very important. Do I go down to power? Hmm. I still Power does have a lot of jackets, which could mean some packs of screws. Clearly, we are not finding this method. We want the elites. Keep swapping out the the the, the tubes, tubes for things we need. A bottle of vodka right there? It is. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Another quarty boats. Power. 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 If I go to power. Power has been hit. Move along the back here and see. And it's one of those where I definitely have some things that I need, some things that I want. Actually, I should probably take the screwdriver just to make sure. 
So I can continue to get to the toolkits. Trade for a few. I'm very surprised we haven't seen a single pack of toolkits yet. So the benefits of it could be items we need. Negatives could be obviously we die. Could also get a couple of scav kills along the way. Just go out really quick to see. I'm going to pass, I think. I'm going to pass on it, I think, for now. We need to come here a lot more. I need to check the stores. There's quite a few different things I need to do, so I can start trying to incorporate tasks in this really really wanted to get the stash upgrade going I feel like that's one of the first big milestones that you can complete lion spawns here guess you didn't know Right in that little presser thing. What on? Now black three I'm going to take the mag, just in case we need it. The ammo's not great, but some ammo is better than no ammo. That's science. Ram. Taking Tetris, man. Nobody's been in here. That's amazing to me. Or they have, and they didn't check there. Yeah, this would be the time that I would really hope for some graphics cards, because that would be nuts. Alright. Well. Get ES lamps. Don't. Oh, the cleaner. I think I need that, and definitely think I need that. Upgrades.
I like the stash. It's getting more and more popular. We got the scav kill. I'm not even gonna go for that stash. Ah. Bush one was hit, it's a very high chance this other one was hit. Take the win. Another nice little raid here. A couple of scav kills, which is good. Add those to the total. Take it. So here's the loot haul. Another really solid one. And uh, another one where I just don't have any room for anything. <laughs> oh, which is so unfortunate. I think I need to check. Uh, so the cleaner, I'm almost positive that I need for some hideout upgrade things. Obviously, the Tetris we can sell. The hoses are super good. Um, obviously, the wrenches and the screwdrivers. We'll need those to get those tool kits. I grabbed that other motor and obviously this propane, but the problem ends up being is I really don't think I'm gonna be able to fit them uh, without selling some things or moving some things around. So we're gonna have to look at doing that. The one thing I do have is a couple of cat statues actually, and I'm considering actually maybe selling those. One, to free up a little bit of space. Two, I don't think I need them. The only thing I would be really interested in is trying to basically do this again when I only do need the one. So we can try to get ourselves set up if we can find a couple more horses to get a second dox case, which for our container would be absolutely huge. Um, I'm trying to think what other good barter trades that are out there maybe that I want to take advantage of. I don't think at this point I have access to too many. This is the one that I was talking about that we use for gunsmith. It has the choke on it. I had the the grip, uh, the pistol grip on this uh, on this shotgun already. And the nice part about this is this is a great shotgun. If you watch last hardcore season, you probably saw me use this pretty pretty consistently, which is why I'm always grabbing screwdrivers and elite pliers. And as I've said before, it is really nice uh, to be able to have uh, an easy to use gun. And this thing with the flashlight and the sight ends up being a really effective shotgun. So. Um, yeah, this is tough here. I don't know that there's much. I don't really know that there's much. If I do need a D battery. I don't think I have the B11 yet. I do have the uh, the quest after turning in the first gunsmith to be able to uh, to mod that as well. Let's just see what he has available. This gear really sucks. I need to just keep spending some more money with him. Very close to level two here. And then we Jaeger. We just need some task completion. These two are going to be pretty tough, though. Um, always always did not appreciate these two tasks. Kind of gatekeeping a few other things. Specifically this one. This one's going to be a little difficult. The funny part is we get a tool set. So I think what we're going to end up doing here... Yeah, see, I need the B11 for this. And I might actually be able to complete this. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to take a look. We have an MP5 with a silencer, but we don't have the right part for it quite yet. But this is what I was hoping to actually go and get done. That would be really beneficial. Um, I think here's what we're going to do. I've got a lot of unpacking to do. I am going to be able to fit the fuel in my generator, which is pretty cool. Since we got that leveled up to two. So I'll just do a quick... I probably did this last episode, but if I didn't... And I apologize for the long kind of end. But I like to keep you guys updated on where we're at. So we did get generator updated, uh, upgraded. And I am going to be able to slot that fuel right in there, which is pretty nice. Obviously, we've got to get vents. I can make some work on illumination here. So I was really glad, actually, that I grabbed this uh, to get this uh, that energy-saving lamp. These won't be too hard to come by. Neither will wire, so we can certainly get those done. And then, obviously, we've got to get mechanic up to level 2. Workbench is the next thing. This is really the big one that I would want to get. I think I'm going to struggle with getting weapon parts is going to be the really difficult part of this. However... I need to look to see. Oh, they actually added this. I don't think this was here before. Standard SKS is to turn into weapon parts. I'm going to have to be on the lookout for those. I would definitely do this. We actually need to see if there's a trade available for those. That would be really big. That would be really big. 
We do need some pressure gauges, so I need to remember to hang on to this. And then I need one more Xeno. We need to get water collector up to two. How are we sitting here? Man, workbench and then two toolkits. And obviously Jaeger level two, but we are there. I am there. I actually don't need the second motor. It doesn't look like. What did I say I needed for workbench? This is going to be the gatekeeper now. That's really unfortunate because we need a couple of drills as well. These are not hard to come by. Drills will be a little bit harder to come by. And weapon parts, I think we're going to have the toughest time. Nutrition unit, I believe. I did. I needed, I needed that cleaner. We need one more coffee. This was a terrible one for us last season. So I am very, very close. One more coffee here. Obviously, we've got to get a couple more things upgraded. But that's great that we'll be able to get that done. This obviously is going to need a Ledex and some Knackles. Rest space here. We need a whole bunch of other things. A lot of freaking green bats. Workbench here. And then we can get this heating upgraded too. So we've got a lot of things that we need. Uh, very unfortunate. I couldn't get any of it. We're so close. So close. We'll get there though. We will get there. I am. Uh, I feel good about it. Feel good about it. We obviously need a lot of stuff for that. So. All right. Oh, shooting range, actually. Oh. We could try to put this together. A couple more duct tapes. That would actually be good. We may use it. We may not. Let's take a quick look, actually. I'm curious. Can I trade for those? Does not look like I can. This is the trade I'm talking about with the propane, so certainly we want to hang on to those. Let's see. My Jaeger would be the only other hope that uh, those SKSs. I really need to keep an eye out for those that would be great if we could do that yeah he's gonna be the man so okay so we're gonna wrap that one up here so again hopefully you got a good quick overview of where we're sitting as far as the hideout uh two good raids plenty of money made we got some things done tasks we have plenty of tasks to do which is great we need to go to woods at some point maybe we'll run there we need to find some car batters for car repair we'll get that done we need scavs on customs i do think do think I think I am going to go customs here, probably the next episode, just to actually try to go get some of those scav kills and see there's a lot of tech crates and tool, tool boxes and things, uh, as well as a lot of jackets. I'm going to try to maybe go there and farm for the three packs of screws that we need. I'm hoping that's going to be a good decision. We have, obviously have a couple of quests. We need to actually get killing some PMCs so we can get some peacekeeper tasks open as well. And then there's quite a few other things. We'll certainly be back to interchange. We've got a lot to do there. And uh, in into factory, we'll be going as well here in the near future. So with that one, we'll wrap it up. Quick plug, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for all of the support. Seriously, if you're just popping back in and watching these, throwing a like, that's all we can ask for. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It does help us in the channel. Helps you to be able to see the videos. Uh, and all that good stuff and you know how the algorithm works so thank you guys so much for all of the support hopefully you're enjoying the other stuff the other content that we have we're doing a lot of different challenge series type things i still have some guides in the works as well uh and just trying to keep you up to date on the news so hopefully a little bit for everybody to enjoy and uh hopefully some unique ways to play tarkov as well as we're getting in later into the wipe here um in addition we do stream on twitch fridays and saturdays 8 30 eastern standard time that link is in the description. We've got our Discord and our Twitter. Uh, give, our, give our Discord a follow too. Come join our community over there. Folks to play some games with, hang out, chat. Uh, we'd love to have you over there. We also keep the community up to date on everything going on with the channel on the Discord. So if you have Discord notifications, whenever we go live, if we do randoms throughout the week, we'll throw that in there. You can always see it. We also try to update with YouTube as well. Just keep you going if there's something new, especially update related news try to keep that going uh in addition to all those other things so with that we'll close out doc average gamer guys as always thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next hardcore episode peace <laughs>